Yo, what's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be going over a really good money glitch to take advantage of right now. In case you didn't know already, the solo money glitch that I have recently posted uh, days ago, that one has been fully patched. I've updated the comments section as I do with all patch glitches. All right. So this one is two player. There is a solo money glitch out right now, but it requires BMX bikes. So let me know if you do want me to upload that and I'll see what I can do. Now, getting into this one, not sure who the founders are, so I will put them down in the description once I figure that out. But uh, yeah, this one does require a friend. You wanna go ahead and throw yourself in an invite only session. You both need the same facilities and this works on Xbox One and PS4, by the way. All right, so this is a very, very good glitch and easy to execute. Now, like I said, you need the same facility and go ahead and throw a bunch of LG Retro Customs or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping in your facility. And you do not need custom plates for this. This is a no custom plates glitch. You both need Avengers, you and your friend, and you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to save your dupes, okay? So as you can see right here, I've only put two dupes in my facility, but you wanna put as many as you want, or as many as you can really in there, because once you run out, then you have to get re-glitched out again, but it's pretty simple to do, but you just wanna make this as fluid as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand on the facility floor right here, sign in as the CEO, and send my friend an invite to my CEO, and then hover over retire. What my friend is gonna do is go into their Avenger. They're gonna stand at this spot right here. Go ahead and open up their phone and then hover over my invite. Now the name of the game is you wanna go ahead, the friend, you wanna go ahead and accept the invite and run towards the door at the same time spamming X or A and eventually you'll hit this black screen. When that happens, you tell your friend to retire. Okay, now what you should see, you'll spawn in the driver's seat of the Avenger. You can go ahead and hop out and if you open up your interaction menu, you'll actually see that you have the facility management option in your interaction menu which shouldn't always be there and you have the option to invite people that's how you know the facilities are merged and you're good to go okay so that's the merge glitch basically if you ever have to get re-glitched out again you both exit the facility you go back in there and that's the glitch that's how to actually merge and it's very very simple to do it might take you a couple tries at first but it's not that bad okay so now what you want to go ahead and do is actually go outside. Now remember, I said a bunch of RH8s or Faggios in another garage. Uh, Faggios or Sanchez's is probably more preferable because you can just open up your interaction menu, sign in as an MC president, and just request it with no cooldown timers. So that's always a plus. So I'm just going to call up this Sanchez right here. Now this Sanchez is the vehicle that I'm going to be duping over, okay? This has a plate on it. Even though you can't see it, there is a plate on here. Now, all I have to do is leave this outside. I don't actually have to ride it or anything, but I just wanted to kind of prove a point. So now I'm going to make my way back into my own facility. Now, remember, this glitch, you can do it multiple times back to back. But like I said, if you don't have enough LG Retros or whatever vehicle you're duping in your facility, you will have to get re-glitched out again. And you can do it multiple times in the session. So that's good. You don't have to change sessions at all. All right. It's very simple and convenient. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is make my way up to one of the cars that I want to dupe, this Retro Custom right here, and it doesn't even have a custom plate because we do not need one whatsoever. So I'm going to hop into the driver's seat. Now, my friend is going to go over here and hover over, basically just hover right by the passenger side door. So this is what you want to do. You need to give your friend access to the vehicle. So what you need to do is you tell your friend to go ahead and press wire triangle and then press it again and hold it. So it's tap and then hold. All right. Now, when the door gets fully open, all right, you wanna go ahead and just pop out of the driver's seat, just like this, okay? So you see that I just popped out. Now what should happen is your friend should actually slide right over into the driver's seat. For some reason, that didn't happen this time, but I couldn't get into the vehicle again, so I had my friend get right back in, and then they slid over, all right? So if this ever happens to you, this is the first time it's ever happened to me, but if this does happen with you guys, you know what to do now. So just go ahead and hop in the passenger side door, and your friend now can drive vehicles in the facility so you tell your friend to go ahead and drive up to this railing these glass rails right here and wedge both the driver's side door and the passenger side door okay you want them to wedge both doors to be able to teleport in and out of the vehicle now once you're in position right here you want to go ahead and you tell your friend who's the driver to teleport out then you teleport out and back in now you have full access to the vehicle you can tp in and out of that car okay so this car right here is the one we're going to be duping. Like I said, doesn't need a custom plate. We can TP in and out of it. I'm just going to show you the plate right here. So we see it change outside DQX. Remember just DQX. All right. So make your way over to the yellow circle. Now Xbox 
and PlayStation hover over exit facility. Now, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be pressing on Xbox, it would be A and Y at the same time on that yellow circle hovering over exit facility. And on PlayStation, you'd be pressing X and triangle at the same time and kind of face that car. So you're, we're going to go ahead and press those buttons at the same time. Now, you sometimes see a flicker of you getting into the vehicle and then back over to this screen. But look, I didn't get it, but I still ended up with the vehicle outside and check out the plate. That is a brand new plate. NLH is right there in the middle where DQX used to be. So this is a brand new dupe, brand new plate, but the game looks at this like a Sanchez. Cause remember we overwrote the Sanchez that was outside here. So we need to go ahead and save this. Now the way to save it is this is where you need to call up your MOC and you need to go ahead and drive this into the personal vehicle storage. If you can't drive it in there, it means you have the, uh, the weapon and vehicle workshop. Okay, so make sure you're able to drive it in there. It doesn't matter if you have something in there previous or not. You want to go ahead and drive it in there. And now this vehicle is fully saved as an LG Retro Custom dupe. Okay, if you need to, later on, you can add this over into the facility to keep adding more and more in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and exit the facility and actually get into my MOC. Now, since the facilities are merged, because I don't know if you guys know, but normally the MOC disappears when you go into your facility because you have the Avenger in there and you can't have both out at the same time. But while the facilities are merged, you can actually have your MOC out there uh, by the facility and it won't despawn. Okay, so that's a real plus about this glitch. Now, you want to go ahead and park it a little ways away because recently uh, we had a patch where the blue circle went away if it was too close to the facility. So I have to kind of park over in this area, but I still have my blue circle, which is good. Now I can just head over to my facility and actually get on with the glitch. But before I go in there to dupe another car, I need to go ahead and actually request another vehicle to dupe over. Okay, so I'm going to call up a Sanchez. Remember, no cooldown timers. That's the vehicle I'm duping over right there. I need to just go back into my facility now, okay? And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We need to give our friend access to the vehicle so that they can drive it around, okay? And I'm going to show you this is why you want multiple cars in there. Now look, there's an RH8 there. That RH8 is actually from my friend's facility. So you see, you don't lose the car. It just becomes, you know, invisible while the facilities are merged. Once you actually get unglitched, then everything comes back. So we're going to do the same thing. My friend's going to tap on wire triangle and then hold it and then once they're in and the v or once the door opens then i pop out okay that's how you want to do it once their door opens you pop out they should slide right over get access and be able to drive the vehicles in the facility again okay so we're going to be doing the same thing we did before and this is how you rinse and repeat nice and simple you go ahead and you tell your friend to wedge you guys right in between the railings right here so that you can tp in and out of this car okay once you're sure that you are in a good position, remember you want your friend as the driver to teleport out first, then you want to go ahead and teleport out and back in. All right. And you should be in the driver's seat and have access to the vehicle. Now there's the plate IBP in the middle that will change. All right. We've already put our Sanchez outside. We're ready to go ahead and dupe this car. So remember, we're going to be pressing A and Y at the same time while hovering over exit facility, or that would be X and triangle on PlayStation at the same exact time. Sometimes you'll get that flicker. I didn't get it for some reason while I was making this video, and I usually do. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead now, and I'll end up spawning outside. And you actually saw the plate change right there before your eyes. So the plate does change right when you spawn outside. If it doesn't change, that means you didn't have a car outside, okay? You forgot. And check it out. My MOC is still right there. It hasn't despawned. I can go ahead and drive this right in there and there we go so the old dupe is transferred over to wherever my sanchez came from and the new dupe right here is what's saved in the moc with the brand new plate so that's how you do this glitch and basically to rinse and repeat you guys know what you would have to do you'd have to come out over here and then you'd have to go ahead and call out a sanchez or whatever to override and go back into the facility now what i did want to add to this and show you is what happens when you've run out of dupes and something to actually possibly try to actually see your dupes again without both of you, both of you getting unglitched and coming out of the facilities. So I've seen other people be able to do this. I never have been. If you go to the vehicle management, you know, circle right here and press right D-pad, you see it says LG Retro Custom in the top left, but those are RH8s. That's because those are in my friend's facility. Those are my friend's cars. But I've seen people be able to switch these cars around in a weird way, and then they're able to get the vehicles to reappear again. That does not ever happen to me. I've tried this kind of thing, you know, with this facility merge multiple times, and I've never been able to get my vehicles to actually reappear. But I will give that to you as an option since I've seen it work for others, okay? Uh, maybe I might be doing something wrong, 
but I know that that is a possibility, okay? Something to try out. But like I said, if you run out of cars right here, you see I've made two dupes already. I can bring both of those cars in this facility, and then now I have four cars in here to be able to dupe. And like I said, to get unglitched, just have you and your friend walk up to the, you or your friend walk up to the L circle and hit all exit facility, okay? And then you guys will be completely unglitched, and you can go ahead and swap cars around and then get re-glitched to keep duping more cars, okay? No need to leave session, nothing like that, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.